I'm Emily K. Singer. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Trenton, Missouri, and when I grow up, I want to be a professional dancer. Trenton and Chillicothe on plane are about two hours away from New York. Sometimes I feel like I'm a million miles away because you never really hear about New York that often. I like to dance because it really brings out my personality and it's really exciting to get on stage and do what I love to do. Dancing is definitely before everything because dancing is my life. This dream is so big that I it's so hard to explain because I just hope that I'm on Broadway and I'm in the Nutcracker a lot when Please I grow take up. Your seat. The show will begin in just a few minutes. At this time, turn all cell phones and pagers off or to a silent setting. Right now, what's running through my mind is I'm really nervous if I'm going to mess up or if I'm going to do it really good, <laughs> like I've practiced. My name is Gary Hoyman. I'm a uh, first officer for Southwest Airlines, and I've been a 10-year uh, volunteer with the adopt a pilot program. We're trying to get our students to, um, to dream big dreams, because if we don't, then they never dream that big dream, or if they have that big dream, they kind of keep it hidden, because they're afraid that someone might tell them that they're not good enough to do it. We're with Southwest Airlines. You know that the New York City Ballet Gala is this weekend? Yeah. Well, you're going and Southwest is taking you there. We want you to see what it's like to be a professional dancer. We're going to take you behind the scenes, so go pack your bags. I have this uh, collection of adopt a pilot essays that my students wrote, but for several years now, I have been taking those essays and bringing them onto the plane with me. And on the middle of a long leg, I'll make a public PA address, and I will ask them uh, if they're in one of those jobs or something close to that job. I'd really love it if they would give some words of encouragement and advice to my students. Well, now, Emily's essay was, uh, was really well written and uh, hers just really simply showed her desire and her, uh, her passion to want to be a dancer. When I briefed the passengers, uh, Miss Andrea Spongen, who's a part of the Saratoga Performing Arts Mission, read the essay, really loved it, and wrote a tremendous response on the back to her, including an invitation to come out here and to see the New York City Ballet from behind the scenes. I've traveled a lot in my life and I have never, ever experienced a pilot doing anything like this. It was, it was really impressive for a 12 year old. Uh, and it, what really struck me was Emily had said, you know, and if I'm, if I'm not able to be a professional dancer, then I'd like to teach. So she actually went through the steps of, you know, if then, if then, which I was, I was really impressed with. You just knew there was just this very sweet little girl, you know, somewhere. I, I did, it just seemed like a natural thing to do. Now to an uplifting story showing dreams really can come true. It's a story about right place, right time, hard work, and just a little bit of luck. 12-year-old Emily Kaysinger is naturally light on her feet, and today she's walking on air. Is your head spinning right now? Yeah, because I've never done this. As soon as I stepped off the plane in Albany, I was like, whoa, this is actually happening. Hey, you're going to be fine. Go. 
Walking into the classroom, I was really, really scared because I had no clue who any of these people were. After I got started, I was like, I can do this and it'll be fun. It was pretty cool because they knew what they were talking about and they would fix you a lot and they wouldn't yell at you. They would just simply tell you and if you didn't fix it, then they get a little more intense. <laughs> it makes me want it really a lot more because I want to get to that level someday. I liked having a salon treatment because I don't get it very often at all. I mean, my mom does my hair, but it was fun having it done by a professional. I love that. That is a phenomenal dress, by the way. Yeah. Seeing the real show, I was really excited that I was actually there and I was actually watching professional ballerinas. When I see them, it definitely Hi. inspires me to work nice harder. To meet you. And harder and harder. My costume's over there, and then I'm in, so that's my red dress for the last ballet, too. If I could say one thing to Gary, I'd definitely say thank you for coming out to R6 and teaching Adopt a Pilot because after that I got this chance to come up here. When I go back to Trenton, I think every time I dance I'm going to have that image of the New York City Ballet in my head every time I do point or ballet. My name is Emily Kaysinger. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Trenton, Missouri. And when I grow up, I will be a professional dancer.